Welcome back to the Center for Off-Road Research and Antigens and Science. And this course has been reconfigured recently, and I'm thinking about uh, seeing about another uh, winter hill climb challenge. It'll be like a, I don't know, we'll maybe call it a four-week challenge. And what I'd like to do is uh, get a few lines here. This has been reconfigured, and some of these climbs are pretty gnarly. They're really fun. Um, I love this one over here. That's probably one of my favorites. Um, we'll do a version of the step climb on this on this side. I have a ledge crawl um, that is kind of hard to see here, but it's over that uh, rock there in the center of the screen that has a drop off on the side. Um, the cave crawl right here where you have to transition a big gap and then the undercut climb maybe and uh, maybe even uh, run up the rock slide climb that one's actually pretty difficult doesn't look like it should be but it turns out that it is um, maybe even this climb it's not terribly difficult but uh, that, that'd be my last choice climb there I may actually reconfigure that one later um, be neat, neat to uh, perhaps stack a rock between the two peaks of these two runs here in the screen now but I'll consider that in a little bit but something will change in this section of the course here but there are enough runs here uh, this one for sure I want to put in the challenge if we all decide to do it because it's way harder than it looks um, the initial climb is kind of steep and uh, then you got to take it over a peak and wide vehicles really don't like that because the tires don't touch but the diff does and then there's a kind of a gatekeeper block or rock here at the end without a whole lot of transition and then up and over and I figured scoring on this isn't going to be like a normal crawl it's going to be more like a rock bouncer competition um, or RC type anyway rather than get deductions for backing up I'm gonna say you get four tries uh, if you make the and it'll be a combination point system on uh, we'll, we'll call it four lines for the initial one and uh, first attempt 50 points second 40 third attempt 20 and uh, fourth attempt 10 points an attempt ends when you have to physically intervene um, or your car goes upside down off the wheels doesn't matter if you can recover it if it goes on its roof that attempt is over you can back up it's you're gonna have to back up during the, some of these challenges uh, especially the ledge crawl here because it's it's pretty narrow and uh, took me a while to figure out how to do it um, I will say that uh, you can practice as many times as you want but once you decide to make your attempt go live your uh, scoring begins to count so uh, if this is something you guys would be interested in let me know i think it'd be fun to start this maybe uh oh i don't know second week of november and go into the second week of december and uh, maybe change it up a little bit and try something else um let me know what you think uh, i'd like to have some people over and run this with me it's a pretty good course and uh I uh, have two classes, I'd call it stock, where it uh, has to have stock tires and you're allowed three modifications. Steering knuckles count as one mod, even though it's on both sides of the car, you buy them in pairs. So uh, Each diff cover is a mod. Um, a pair of wheel weights is a mod, you know, one for the front axle, one for the back axle. That is two mods, because you're, you're modifying each axle. But... Uh, if you want to have a stock class, that's fine. I'm not sure how well a stock rig would even do on this class. But um, the modified course here on the steps, or the stairs, would not go up the normal way. You're going up this way. And it's a little more difficult. And I don't know that a stock vehicle could do it. But I will show you guys the route before you attempt to... Uh, begin your practice so you know kind of what the line is and uh, let me know if this is something you're interested in we'll talk to you later